Morning, folks. Evening, afternoon. Yes, afternoon. Uh, w whatever. Anyway, I'm going to draw a. Uh, what am I going to draw? Well, it's uh, it's a Christmas card. Yeah, and it's kind of based on team building exercises. My full up out. Well, people have been asking me to do um, business. Um, kind of Christmas cards, basically, and I thought of this one just because of what people do during the exercises, and I, I've applied it to uh, the working regimes, the working practices of Father Christmas and his little helpers. What if they did that sort of thing? Uh, yeah, so um, I thought about the uh, the trust exercises and what would happen if Father Christmas was sort of doing it with his underlings. And uh, well, you'll just see in a minute what happens. It's quite a simple joke, but I thought it was quite fun. And I've got another one with a snowman, which I'll probably do a bit later as well. So, oh, yeah, can't wait. So, how you all been? You've been alright? Yeah? Good. Good, I've been well. Well, you know, I've been to the dentist and um, she's cleaned my teeth. Um, cost me. cost me 40 quid. A bit more than 40 quid. Um, She felt my glands. I think they've. I don't know what. Maybe they're looking out for them, like uh, some sort of contagion in the population. Because <laughs> she. Sh so I got there this now, and she felt all around my neck. Maybe they're checking to see if um, you're not a, a, a vampire or something. Um, but I wondered, you know, what what would have happened if I had put it around my neck? Would the chair suddenly disappear and I'd be turned into a mint meat mint pie mint meat pie? You know. Mint pie? No, that would be nice. Yeah, mint pie would be horrible. What are you talking about? Don't know what you're talking about, Sam. Um, I need Father Christmas to look quite fat, and I'm not sure I'm doing that at the moment. Hmm. Let's start again. I'm gonna keep that picture, but I'm gonna sort of work on a kind of another alternative Father Christmas. From another reality. Yeah. Let's try this. Oh, just got an email. Just checking it. Don't mind me. Oh. I'm being followed by drawing ABD, uh, ADB. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. I'll follow you back. Right. Newsflash. Maybe it's a good thing. Catch it early, whatever they're looking for. We'll all live. I don't know. Right. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit. That's a bit more designy, I think. And that's just sort of edging on to that. It's weird, isn't it? The way Father Christmas has sort of changed or you know, it's a character that everyone recognises, but he's been drawn so differently millions of times, and yet you still recognise him. It's incredible, really. It's like um, he's been drawn by a committee, and it's just kind of evolved and evolved and evolved. And whatever is, as long as you get a beard and a hat and it's red, you know, it's uh, it's Father Christmas, and it's it's. Um, universal, anyone can draw him, which is great. <laughs> and they should do that with Mickey Mouse and stuff. And it's too much protection, I think. You know. But then, how would they get their money? Well, true, true. Sometimes it is a bit too protective. 
I think I said before that uh, I did a cartoon with Bear Grylls. Well, I didn't even do Bear. I mentioned his name. I got a letter from a solicitor saying decease, desist, rather not decease, desist from this. So I had to sort of get it, get rid of it from all my several shops. It was only a sort of two flyers saying, you know, you should see the shit Bear Grylls eat. You know, and uh, I reckon he would have been alright with that. I think he would have. Uh, he would have liked that, but I've just stopped doing sort of jokes about people now. It's just not ob you know, even though they're sort of part of the uh, you know the world. It's um, in the public eye, sort of thing. I think they get a bit touchy about it, which is strange, really. But there we go. <laughs> right. So, um, yes. So, Father Christmas, big fat. Yeah, God, is that working? I don't know. Maybe he's got to be more. Hang on, let's move him back a bit. No, don't like it. Ah, oh, God, he's got a big foot. Look, who's that? Well, I think I've got to cut the beard off. Easily done for me. There we go. Take that off. So yeah, I'm using the eraser at the moment. Just sort of tidying up my line work. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's at the wrong angle now because I've done the other thing at that angle. So again, we have to do it at this angle. Yes, that works better. See though, I had two angles tight, so I just got another. Always look at what you're doing, and don't be frightened to get rid of stuff. People get way too precious about uh, putting a certain part of the drawing or what have you, and if it's not working, get rid of it. It's like you know, you come become a slave to uh, if you're writing a script or something, you become a slave to an idea, and the rest of the script doesn't work because of that idea. So get rid of it. Right. So, old Ken Russell died, which is uh, sad. On the plus side, hopefully they release Altered States because um, that was one of the finest movies I've ever seen. So it gets overlooked. They look at all the other sort of stuff he did, which was, you know weird and good, but uh, Altered States Man, that was the one for me. And I think that spoilt me um, watching Inception, because Inception was just too easy for me. I just thought it was um, Alice in Wonderland in suits, um, whereas uh, Altered States, I had to watch that about four times to even grasp what it was going on about. It's an amazing film. Anyway, that does annoy me when people go on about Inception. So I don't think it's all that. Um, a couple of Star Trek episodes are more complicated than that. Yeah. So there. Right, so I'm just sort of trimming off bits that I don't need. I wanted to get the stomach right. And that meant just doing a sort of arc, uh, and then the sort of middle bit that Father Christmas sometimes has, I'll draw in afterwards, and then just cut out the bits I don't want, you see. So, I'll be putting this on Zazzle, the other one, um, the hat one I did the other day. Uh, got in the today's best category, so I'm quite pleased about that. Which is nice, isn't it, eh? Uh, I don't know how they sort of pick them. Right, so... Yeah. Talking like a robot.
that's what they should have. They should have talked like a robot day. They should talk like a pirate day. Um, right. So I don't know. Oh god, this is a nightmare. Let's um. Hang on. Before I do that, before I do that, I'm gonna copy it. And I'm just gonna kind of keep it. Turn that off, and then I'm gonna miss that as well. Because I need to put in another character. First of all, the suit stands out. Sort is out. So I'm going to do him with these little boots on. I can't remember the Gestapo boots. I've got a couple of jokes that aren't about Christmas at all that I'll be doing later. So look out for those. I'm going to try and every joke I do sort of uh, film it. So uh, let me know what you think. But yeah. Right, so yeah, I think that's almost there. Um, just rubbing out the line work. Ooh. There's Father Christmas sort of falling backwards, and then we have on another layer. Um, and then I'll kind of catch him. So let's see, let's see where this is going. Mm. Poor little elf, Nobby. <laughs> uh, I have J.K. Rowling in my case. I'll call him Terry. Yeah, Bobbin. <laughs> hey, little Bobbin. Yeah, something like that. Do -do 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 -do. I had someone um, on Facebook say, uh, "I love uh, Gary Larson. I miss him." So in the meantime, this will do. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this will have to do. This will get me by. Sort of methadrone for Larson ad uh, yeah, Larson addicts. Right, so he's. <laughs> it's not as good as uh, Larson, but uh, keep me going. You know, do something better turns up and that's my sweets really even to be sort of considered by someone to be even kind of close to a last I think is a is an honor so thank you very much I'll take that with interest thank you he was an influence I must say positive one. In fact, that's why I did one banana short. Yeah, thinking about it, it was uh, a reaction to Larson that I did um, about that, I suppose, and sent them off to various newspapers, but uh, they didn't want to know. So I stopped doing them, basically. Uh, you can see, I mean, they're all sort of pen and ink, cross-hatched and all sorts of uh, there are some quite good ones there, I think. Um, I had to, why did the chicken cross the mafia? <laughs> there was one with uh, one of King um, Henry VIII's wives being headbutted. It's a bit of a, bit of a thing, you know, beheaded, survived, died, beheaded. So you know, you know, so one in that list was headbutted. Uh, yeah, but I've, I've actually coloured them up and put them on um, my Zazzle store so you can see those. I think I had a toothpaste at 
was um, oh gosh, what's the bloody happy jug? Oh gosh, it's my brain's gone. Uh, yeah, the clean tea found a smile. Gaff. Anyway, they're all uh, they're all there. If you want to have a look. Right, um, so, I showed, no thanks, don't tell that story. <laughs> so, yeah, the arm was too big. So, I want the earth to look small. I think the other hand's got to be out as well. No, I've done it the wrong way around, you moron. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So the hand comes out like what? Uh, okay. We're getting somewhere, I think. God, he's on tenner corner. I'll tell you what. He's just... I need a bit more neck, I think. I'm not happy with the way he's sort of... I want to put his head up a bit more. He looks a bit butch. I need to just make him look a bit more fragile, I think. Yeah. Prozac. <laughs> Six Prozac toothpaste. <laughs> oh dear. I don't think I was allowed to use that there either. It's a trade name. So, um I don't know, I haven't sell I'm not selling stuff. Right. Um Yeah, clean tea, found a smile. Er So there we go. And a belt. Oh, I've just got a BBM. Sorry, just got to look at it. Has it come? <laughs> My daughter, I've won a, um, an iPhone 4. And um, I said my daughter could have it. <laughs> She's Has it come yet? I entered the Diablo skins competition because uh, I was asked to, and I won it. I did this um, this thing. Uh, the skit, basically, what it's all about is um, Diablo skins do covers for um, phones, and well, not just phones, uh, PlayStations and things, uh, PCs, and I do a lot of stuff for. Um, and I wanted an advert created, and then I just thought of, you know, there are more than one ways to skin a rabbit, isn't it? And I did this rabbit being skinned. It sounds worse than it is. <laughs> um, but why not? Instead of skinning a rabbit, use Diablo skins, because they are the best. And um, I did it really quickly using the puppet tool on uh, on After Effects. So I made it sort of dance. Uh, yeah, I probably need to do back a bit. Does he, does he need to do back a bit? Yeah, I think there's got to be a bit of distance between him and Father Christmas. Yeah, I was told about it when I was working in Romania. Uh, I said, oh yeah, we'll use the puppet tool because I was doing a thing for Zuzu Yogurt out there, um, and I, I used it on uh, the Diablo Skins ad to make this thing dance, and it really works really quite nicely. So, if you have After Effects, try the Puppet Tool. It's amazing. It's a 
like this old man sort of on roller skates dancing. And it's just one picture. That leg's wrong. That leg wrong. <coughs> Damn it. Curse this. look and ask yourself questions and I was looking at that and I thought no that leg does not make sense it's coming out at the wrong angle right so there we go right let's get colouring this baby up uh, hang on a sec here I'll just do the horizon I'm not going to do anything in the background as such um, maybe I'll suggest uh, just like there's a wall or something so let's raise that up and then delete these bits that can be skirt and board There we go, there's a bit of skirt involved. Uh, don't do that one. Do that one. I need to. Oh, for goodness sake. No, don't do that. I'm trying to make two copies. And then I'll. Oh, God. No, hang on a second. <laughs> oh, God, I saw go to pop, but I've just noticed that that wasn't working. So I need to delete. Get this little rubber out. Get rid of that. Now I make two copies. And I put one on the bottom. One one is on white, and one is just sort of like that. Okay. And that's so. Um, if you, uh, I'll I'll put a bit of color on. Yeah, put a bit of color on Santa, and then I'll take the top layer off, and you can see that it's bled into the black. But if I put the the uh, the top layer back on it's in perfect nick you keep doing that and it will just disappear and eat it it's really weird why it does that uh, but I always do a copy over the top just to kind of keep my line work pristine the way I want it so and it's also nice to have the line work existing in its own kind of way anyway because uh, you can you know turn it into black and white and whatever you want. Right. And if you're turning it into a vector or something, it's quite easy. Whoa! Right now, I've overdone it. <laughs> right. There we go. Yeah, if you want to sort of ship it into um, Illustrator and turn the line work into vectors, it's you know it's there. You don't have to kind of mess about with it too much. Uh, it's always good to have copies as a backup. Always. So, oh, what did I do the other day? I did everything. I was doing something for a client, and I thought um, I'll do it dark, but I'm not sure that they'll want it dark. I'll just save that. Ooh. Anyway, um, so I did everything on levels. So I did the artwork underneath, and then I did um, the shadow layers on top. They said, oh no, it's a bit dark. I went, no problem. And I just removed the shadow layers that they showed me. And I went, yeah, that's fine. And then um, about two or three hours later, they said, no, actually, we like the dark one. <laughs> so I went, problem. And I put it back on again. Um, in fact, I sort of saved it as a different file. So I had a couple of files, one that was all dark. And it's just. Um, a good way, you know, it's always have a sort of backup. So if you do something and you think, well, they might not like it, have it on a separate layer, you know, and uh, makes you look good because you get, you know, you go right, yeah, pff, and you know, it's done. And they're like, oh, oh, you look like amazing, and you're like, yeah, no. So you just soak it up. You don't, you don't tell them any of the tricks you use. You just, yeah. Like Scotty, he gave um, Geordie when they met in Generations advice. He said, "You never tell him 
how quick you're actually going to do it. Always add a few hours on to make you look like a miracle worker. He said, and that's uh, you know, that's what you do in this job, sort of, kind of. Anyway, red nose, obligatory, because uh, he's a heavy drinker. Cirrhosis of the liver. So yeah, I'm just putting shadows underneath his nostril, like that, and it just makes him look uh, a bit more three-dimensional, a bit more weighty, you know. Um, yeah, so I just do his tummy tums, and I'm using a kind of dark red colour, about thirty percent, my favourite opacity setting. Oh yeah. A little known fact about me. Uh, yeah, I'm doing that there. Yeah, so if you want to follow me on Twitter and see all this stuff going up, uh, it's uh, Stick Tunes, S T I K T O O N Z. And uh, all this, I mean, this is going to go up as a Christmas card and probably t shirts and things. Uh, on Sazzle, so uh, that's sazzle.co.uk. Stick tunes, S T I K T W A N Z. Uh, and if you like my work, uh, I'd appreciate it if you uh, bought something. It just uh, keeps me alive, which would be nice. I did ask, uh, someone asked if they could um, actually just use my artwork for a mug and I said no uh, that's how I get paid I don't get paid otherwise and good for her she um, she bought a mug off me and I made two pounds woo so that's you know that's what it's all about so thank you very much that lady support your local sheriff no but if you do like my work um and if you buy anything amazing, just a Christmas card. I've got uh, actually some apps out, and they cost uh, 60p, 61p, and they've got um, World of Cow stuff on. I think if you search for World of Cow on um, on iTunes, you'll you'll find them. And I've got a Magic Hamster. That's that's quite good. Yeah, the Magic Hamster app. <laughs> yeah, you go and look for magic. Type in magic hamster. It's just like a um, magic eight ball. Um, you shake it. You ask a question and shake it. Like you know, am I going to live another day? And it will say, yeah, certainly, definitely. You know. Um, and you can use it as a phone as well. I think there's a well, there is. There's a little dialing pad where you can dial your friends, and it goes eat that, eat that. That is shaped of a, it's in the shape of magic hamster. Oh, it's hilarious! But uh, yeah, I had a little bit of money and I thought I'd invest it. <laughs> I haven't got it back yet. Oh, need another. Probably need another two thousand downloads, and then I, I would have broken even. <sighs> hey ho! Right. So, yeah, I did a little advert for it, and uh, I went back in time and talked to uh, Kennedy, and people weren't happy about it. <sighs> yeah. Forget how sensitive people can be, I suppose. But there you go. I've heard stand-up comics do much worse <laughs> than I've ever done. Right. Subject that could be tackled. I was wrong. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, so I'm just putting a. Uh, I'm just sort of magic uh, wanding the top half of him. Like so. Let's 
customize that, 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 that. I'm going to do another level, and then I'm going to do uh, it. Sorry, I'm going to do it blue like that. Okay. Or should I do it black? I'll tell you what, I'll do it black. Yeah. You with me? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock the opacity down of that level. Sort of cut off a bit. Oh, that, so it looks like a shadow is going over him, yeah? You got it? You see what's happening there? And uh, what I might do is just wipe off, especially around the eyes, because I mean, that's kind of where he's got the fear. <laughs> he's going to die. He's going to die. Uh, a team building exercise. Yeah, I mean, that's basically the joke. I think it probably works with that because you're, uh, you're clever. Aren't you? So, there you go. Um, and I'm just going to put in a very light kind of colour in the background. Um, possibly a slight shadow there. Yeah, that's quite nice. And then a little kind of oh I'll tell you what I'm gonna a little star aren't I you can be my lucky star there we go um yeah I'm gonna do uh the obligatory uh sweat popping out the side of the head and you think that never happens that sweat sort of flies off in surprise like that but Tell you what, I was on the rush hour train the other night, and sweat was doing that. You know, it's coming off me like that. I'm bloody sure of it. We were packed in. I mean, we packed ourselves in. We were stupid. We all wanted to get home on time. Right. So yes, uh, that's basically the joke. I think. And I think I'll just. Um, yeah, I think that needs a colour on it. Okay, so basically, the, the gag is sadly. Well, I don't know. Well, I do like the characters, but I think it's sort of sadly. Sadly, uh, Binky didn't. Survive. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Right. Sadly, Binky didn't survive the team building trust exercise. What do you think? I think that's quite a nice little gag. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to save it and put it up. Right, hope you're all well. And uh, I'll do some of this later. Alright. Love you all. Bye.